Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Russell I'm stashed it with me tonight. I have the pleasure of working with Varun Shunker, Loco Sports, who happens to be a Dominion man. Is that right, Varun? That's right. Been here for, it's my fourth year now, senior, so I've been following this team for a while. I know a decent amount about them, and it uh, should be a good game. Uh, should be a good game. Vikings coming off another loss to Loudoun County last night, where they went down by nine. I think it was 54 to 45. Uh, Varun, I've been following a lot of the Vikings games. I know you are uh, in tune with the local sports scene. So last night, in a nutshell, what happened? It happens to the Valley a lot. They don't have a lot of guys that create their own shot. If they get behind. Dawson tries to do a little bit too much. What happens? I mean, that's one of the biggest problems. And you see this around the county. Another team that has this issue sometimes is Potomac Falls. They have one guy. It's Dawson for these guys in Haas for Potomac Falls. And the issue is when Dawson's a little bit limited or if they throw some extra attention to that, see who can step up after that. And the yeah. problem is, Latin Valley has a lot of finishers. They have a lot of shot. They don't have a lot of shot creators. You've got a guy like Omero Bate. He's a great shooter. No, yeah. Like Clyde Volker can go bang down low. He's not a guy who's going to create his own shot. They rely on Dawson to create their shot. When Dawson's on, it's great. When Dawson's not on, you start to have a little bit more issues. And we'll see what Dominion is able to do. The kid, you, you brought up Potomac Falls. I went into the game like you, thinking you were there that night, that we were going to be watching Hawes. The kid that impressed me that night was Coker. Yeah, <laughs> that kid was a beast. Right. Well, here we go. We're off. So Varun's going to give you the play-by-play, -play, and he knows the Dominion players. Uh, with us always is Rod Ogren, the stat master. And we are stat stream. Take it away, Varun. That's Cooper. That's Clyde. So, Varun, I remember the last time we saw the Titans out in Valley. Rod Ogren here in the booth will tell you my favorite Titan, Mark Schrader, with the hair. Yeah, love this hair, man. He is great. Here is Dawson now holding it. He's going to give it to Volker. Volker puts up a tough shot. Oh, Clyde. I think, I'm going to say that was a finger roll by Clyde Volker, the first of his career. All right, so there's two Mancusos out there, Varun. Jake Mancuso was the star of the game the last time the Titans came to Valley. Clyde. Clyde the Glide is tough. I tell you, Varun, 
Clyde Volker does all the little things. He rebounds. He sets screen areas with a steal. As I just mentioned, there's Volker going to go one on two. He's all hustle and all effort. That's his game. Hustle and effort. There's Clyde with the rebound. Turns it over. It's going to be a foul on Volker. How are we on our, our thing, all right? Who's the foul on? Volker. That's a big shot for Ball Varun. We got to get him going from the Valley headquarters there. It's a guy they expected a lot from. What do you guys call your student section over there? What do you call them? As, oh, as in prison, you mean the D-block? Is that what you guys refer to him as? I don't know. I think it's a prison reference. The D-block. Huh? <laughs> I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Checking in for the Vikings is going to be the younger brother of Cooper Tunnell. Number 33, Cole Tunnell. And Varun Cole Tunnell. He's an all-hustle guy, a huge rebounder, and he'll be all over you on the 1-3-1. One, one. They put a big guy in the top of the 1-3-1. One, one. This guy's all energy. A lot of all energy guys on this Valley team. You need that good culture, and that's why they've been so good. Here's Shelton now. Holding it right side. Harass gets it to Barrett. Barrett to Shelton. Gets it over to Carlin on the right side. He'll throw it back to Shelton. Shelton trying to probe it to the defense. Nice, nice. Very nice offense against the 1-3-1. Here's Trent Dawson now. Loses the trigger. It's loose on the floor. It's going to go right to Zion Ball as Dawson picked it up and was able to get it to his teammate. He'll kick it out to Volker. He's going to get it back to Dawson. And Dawson is going to be fouled. Getting on the floor and pushing the basketball. Nice defense early on by the Titans. They're very active. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Last last night against uh, when Valley lost to County at the end of the first quarter, it was five to five. So Viking squads in the past three years, Varun, have been more run and gun. They pressured full court. They ran the transition basketball. This year, I got to tell you, they're, they're more like a mutter. They play a gritty, defensive style, low scoring game. Is that because of you know, the lack of a secondary playmaker, or is that just because that's how they don't play this year? No, it's because they don't have the transition playmakers. That's Cooper Tunnell, 35 is the senior. His younger brother, both Tunnells are out there. 33 is a younger brother, but they both look alike, and obviously they play the same game. They're big board guys, uh, and Coop, Cole's going to come out, and that's Umar Obeyed comes back in. He's a shooter. Dawson, 
There is my man, Jake Mancuso. He doesn't start for the Titans, but last time I saw him play, he came in. He was without a doubt the MVP of the game at Valley. Kid does a lot. Reminds me of Volker. He bangs, hustles, gets rebounds. That uh, Jake Mancuso is a player. You know him better than I do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good down low. A little bit limited in some ways, but he's very powerful and very adept. He's got a nice spin move that he's used a couple of times this year. Here's Hickey now. Gets it to Bears. Bears three-pointer. No good. Too strong. Wow, that was off the mark by a lot. Zion <laughs> <laughs> Ball. It's over to Obey. Obey. Deep pass over to Costco. Pass to Dawson. Dawson. Stop. Pops. Could be a kick. Ball. They are, and into the game for the Vikings is number 30. He comes in, Ben Hall, who is only a sophomore, a lot of size. He is a shot blocker, Varun. Not very offensive, but he's a defensive gem. Number 30, Ben Hall. Vikings, Vikings going back to that 1-3-1. Coming in is Avery Nance, and Dawson is going to take a breather. No, he's not. Zion's going to come out. So Avery Nance checks in, and Clyde Volker will check out. Also on the floor for the Vikings, number 23, Aris Ayush. Oh. Oh. All right, Varun, my apologies. We had some bad information up here in the press box. It's Anis, A-N-I-S, not a risk. Anis, Ayush, number 23 for Valley. On the ball right there. Rebound to Obeyed. Are you going to help me out with that? Rebound, Obeyed. We're not, we're not telling you who's taking the shots. He needs it. Here's Dawson holding it for the last shot. He's giving it down to Obey. Obey gets it on the floor, goes in. Puts up a little scoop shot. It's no good. How do you take the rebound? Shelton's got to put up a feed. Rebound to number 20, Justin Mann. Shot by Obey.
All right, Varun, here we go in the second quarter with the Titans up 12 to 8. Again, my name is Bill Rossitella. With me is Varun Shankar. I get it right? Yes, sir. Shankar. Is. All right. And we are StatStream here at Dominion High School. The runner, the floater by 22. That was Max Mancuso. And Dawson's going to bring it the other way. He'll look to slow it down a little bit. They break it out to Avery Nance. To the elbow, back to Dawson. Looks for the three, back to Nance. Try to get down low, dude. That's Cooper Tunnell, and he dribbles, double dribbles. And Cooper turns it over, Varun. You can help me out on the defensive call because you know these Titans better than I do. I know that my favorite player, number 13, reminds me of who? Who's my singer? Come on. Who's my singer? He reminds me of the hair. No. All right, there's number 20 with the ball. That's Justin Mann, and he'll turn it over. Oh, uh, I told you before. All right, here it comes. 12 to 8 with 7, 12 to go here in the second quarter. We're going to bring you live time stats tonight. They'll be running across your stream. That's Rod Ogre, and he's working the camera and the stats. Varun and I are going to do the best we can, but we might miss a few assists or rebounds. But we're going to hang in there the best we can. That's Nance to the elbow. Volker, Dawson for three, too strong. And it's out of bounds. And the D block, Varun. The D block is getting into it. Got to love a prison cell student section. Jumper by Mancuso. That's Max. Back to Mancuso again. Good. The second one. The first rebound was by Jaden Hickey, number two. Offensive board. Timeout. Coach Dawson doesn't like what he sees, Varun. Well, County and Valley has a very big rivalry. You know that. They don't like each other. I don't want to sugarcoat it. Lenny Kravitz, that's who Schroeder is. Is it Schroeder or Schroeder? Schroeder. Look at the hair. He's got the Lenny Kravitz hair. Good thing you don't have a microphone. All right. Looks like the Titans are going to play a 2-3 here, Varun. That's a matchup zone, maybe? That's a, a little matchup. Yeah, there's Clyde Volker over to Obeyed. And they'll swing it over to Nance. Once again, the Titans have had the lead most of this game. They're up by 15 to 8 now. And typical situation here for Valley. The man with the ball, Dawson, seems to be the only guy that can create his own shot. His dad, of course, is the coach, Chad Dawson. Trent recently got his 1,000th point last week at home against Parkview. I don't know the college he's looking at. I know that he got his 1,000 point. And then last night I saw that Brock Woodgrove, Brock Redmond, got his 1,000 point. All right, there's Clyde Volker. We'll get another bucket for the Vikes. And Dominion will run up against a, looks like it's a man-to-man -man defense now, Varun. They switched out of that 1-3-1. Shelton down to give and go. What a play, the pick and roll. Beautiful play as Shelton dishes back to the big man, Schroeder. I wish my fifth grade team could do that. Man, that was nice offense. Volker on the elbow, all kinds of trouble against this Titan defense. They are tenacious. Four minutes to go here in the first half and Valley sitting on 10 points. Shot no good by Volker. Rebound to Jaden Hickey, number two. No good by Volker in the corner for three. No good shot by Max Mancuso. Rebound to Dawson. Drives the lane. Dishes to Volker. 
Nice move by Volker, rejected. He's rejected by Justin Mann. Here comes Shelton. Oh, they're gonna call the offensive foul, I think. They are a Shelton offensive foul. Regardless of the offensive foul, Vikings still sitting on 10 points. Yeah, they're not getting much offensively. Volker's been their only consistent player. Dawson looks out of sorts. They gotta get stuff figured out in the past. Volker's got what, six? He's got eight of the 10 points. Wow. How about that for Ruin? We've got four minutes to go, and Trent Dawson has no points. You wonder how much the offensive load he's been carrying all year is starting to wear on him now. No just, kidding, yeah. Just the miles that he's had to do, and especially coming up that campaign, which is short. He's just getting a lot of jump on him, lift up the job. Nice play there by Avery Nance to avoid the uh, turnover. Backcourt, Dawson to Volker. And now Volker puts it in another bucket. He's got 10 to the 12. Right, he's trying to push. They're, they like playing fast sometimes. Mancuso in the corner to Colby Matheny. Rebound goes to number 15, is that? Or? Jake Mancuso, your guy. That's my guy, Jake the Snake. Jake Mancuso getting that board. He's a scrapper. The shot was taken by Vincent Oro 24. Colby Matheny, I'm sorry. Colby Matheny. Oh, Mancuso misses the first. No, no, he's a scrapper. Oh, missed them both. They weren't pretty. You're right. The rebound to Volker. This is in the corner. And that's Nance for three. Shelton the other way, right down the lane. And he is fouled. I think it's going to be, is it on Nance? 11? Then I have 11. Oh, it's on Zion Ball. Fouls on Zion Ball. And Shelton. What was that? What have you thought of Zion Ball? Well, you know, it's interesting you ask that. Rod and I were just talking about that earlier today. You know, I feel like uh, he was brought in here with some high expectations. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't want to be too critical, but I feel like, again, we talk about always not enough guys on Vikings creating their own shot. I think they look to him to be a creator, and I'm not sure that he's fitting what they expected. Shelton makes them both, right? Yeah, he made both. And it's 18 to 15. We're down to three. You got one? One of the two. And... Oh, with they're down by three, and Dawson hasn't scored, exactly. and we got three minutes to go. You moving this? You're not moving it? Oh, okay, okay, all right. There's Dawson drives the lane back to Nance. Once again, nice defense by Dominion. They are all over on the defensive end. Into the elbow, Volker over. Oh, that's Benny Hall. Ben Hall for three. Oh, two? Oh, two. Okay, long two. That's my man, Jake Mancuso. Over to Matheny. There's a, there's a three ball. That's a little bit long by Jaden Hickey. Rebound goes to Zion Ball. You got that? What a dish. Assist Dawson. Volker bucket. Transition bucket. And the Vikings have their first lead of the game. At 19 to 18, they take the lead with two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first half. Transition Viking basketball, Varun. Yeah, they gotta play fast if they're gonna get offense tonight. And when they do, they look phenomenal. That's the important thing for them right now. Make sure they consistently play fast. Because that allows Dawson to get out of the open court and make some nice leads. Not shooting the ball well, but the vision's still there. Uh, that was a nice dish, no doubt about that. Done the sponsors yet, Rod? All right, a little break in the action. I'm going to bring our sponsor. Once again, my name, Bill Russatella of Stats. And with me doing the stats, Rod Ogren and Varun Shanky. We are Stats Street. What's that? Shankar. I, you got to write down for me. Shankar. Works for me. Varun Shankar. I'm sorry. Loco Sports. Coach Bonnie is in the box with us. JV coach. And I didn't get a chance to do the sponsors. 
Let me tell you about PMA Insurance Services. <laughs> In the corner, they'll work it around. That's Schroeder out top. The big man for three. Little strong. Rebound goes to Nance, and he'll push it. Rebound, Nance. Zion Ball, he'll shoot a three. I thought I was going to go in off the wire. Under two minutes to go now. 19 to 18. And there's Shelton. Vikings are going to play a little man defense now, Varun. Shelton will work it around. Taking their time. That's Jaden Hickey in the corner. Shelton down low. Out to Hickey. Oh, nice dish. Schroeder in the paint. Can't convert. That's a nice little. Oh, there's Shelton driving high off the backboard and good. Nice bucket there by Shelton. Samuel Shelton on the bucket. Schroeder couldn't convert. He had a nice cut to the basket, Varun. He missed the easy runner there, but Shelton picked him up. Now Valley, Valley will work it around under a minute to go here. Clyde for three. In and out. Shelton with the rebound. Max Mancuso, no, that's 20. That's Justin Mann over to Jaden Hickey. They're back to Shelton. As so they might try to hold for the, I think they're going to hold for the last shot. 30 seconds to go. They got a one-point lead there at home. They're going to try to get the last shot. Max Mancuso <coughs> over to Shelton, excuse me. Jaden Hickey. 15 seconds to go. Hickey got Dawson on him. He's going to try to get a high screen by Schrader. Over to Shelton. Pushes off. Ball is loose. It's on the floor. Back to Shelton. He's got to shoot it. He's got to shoot it. They don't get it off in time. No shot. And the half will end 20 to 19. A defensive struggle. I'm going to give you guys the sponsors real quickly once again. Statstream, a special thank you to Gold Athletics. If you're looking to raise money for your high schools, Gold Athletics, come fundraise with us. They raised the bar so you can raise the money for your local high school. Goldathletics.net. Velocity Wings. Come into one of their six family friendly Virginia locations. Of course, downtown Percival, Velocity Wings, the best wings in town, great food, and live sports, VelocityWings.net, Valley Energy, Rod, I just had to pay my Valley, en my Valley Energy bill today, Valley Energy, the most the smart choice for all your propane, diesel fuel, and heating oil needs, with, of course, tremendous customer service, they've been taking care of Percival since 1700, I think, they're <laughs> the place to go to. Flexible payment options and competitive pricing. ValleyEnergy.org. Mannix HVAC. If a problem occurs with your heating or cooling system, don't panic. Call Mannix. They will be there when you need them. Mannix HVAC.com. Lydia Clark Realty. Lydia Sells Loudon.com. Lydia provides comprehensive service to her clients, including pre staging her clients' homes, professional photography. And video. She is a relocation specialist for all of our amazing military vets. Once again, Lydia the Clock Realty, Lydia Sells Loudon.com. The Percival Pub, the place to go in downtown Percival to catch the game. The Percival Pub, known for a cozy atmosphere, amazing home cooked food, and outstanding service. This is the place to grab a relaxing brunch, lunch, or dinner. Welcome home, the PercivalPub.com. Loudon Valley Floors. Since 1991, they've offered an incredible selection of quality flooring products. They commit to honesty and integrity in all of their sales. And of course, they offer exceptional quality and craftsmanship. Loudon Valley Floors.com. My man, Steve Jacobus. Kathy Hessler Holmes. Kathy's son is a member of the Valley Varsity Squad. That's Matt Hessler. KathyHessler.com, your Loudoun County go-to real estate agent providing comprehensive real estate services to home buyers and sellers. Voice Sports, 
viewing our youth consistently everywhere. See tomorrow's sports stars today. Voice Sports, the voice reporters now. Loco Sports with me tonight, of course. Varoon's in the press box. Locosports.info. They partner for the game of the week. This is your game of the week. The Vikings are here at Dominion to take on the Titans. You'll go crazy for Loco Sports sports coverage. PMA Insurance Services. Bill Russatella is a full-service independent agent, and PMA Insurance is a full-service agency. They specialize in business, home and auto, life and health coverage. PMA Insurance Services, your interests come first. PMABenefits.com. Climatic Heating and Cooling, serving Northern Virginia since 1990. There are specials in designing, installing, and servicing HVA systems. They offer the best service around. Climatic Heating and Cooling, ClimaticVA.com. They provide superior customer service with honesty, integrity, and professionalism. Cardinal Park Family Dental. Looking for an experienced general dentist? Passionate about helping your family enjoy a lifetime of happy, healthy smiles? Cardinal Park Family Dental.com. Since 1999, Cardinal Park Family Dental has provided a comfortable hometown feel while using state-of-the-art dental technology. And I am done, Rod, with these sponsors. You going to throw a commercial out there? All right. Hi, welcome to Loudoun Valley Floors. We are an independently owned company founded in 1991, and we have two showrooms, one in Ashburn and one in Percival. Our motto is honesty, integrity, and punctuality, and we strive to deliver exceptional service based on our motto. We wanna make sure that we give honest advice based on your needs and not just what we think that you should have in your home. We have an incredible selection of products from leading manufacturers in carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl plank, everything that you can think of. We run our company with the same family values as when we started in 1991, and our referrals and reputation certainly reflect that. We are the recipient of the Best of Loudon for flooring and carpet care for the last 14 years running, so we hope you'll come see us.
So we've been here for 20 years. I've seen kids grow up and see their kids, and it, it's just been really enjoyable. We are not like a corporate dentistry. When, right when you walk in, you're going to feel welcome. We care about our patients, and, and they see. And we're back for the second half. Dominion leading 20 to 19 over the Loudoun Valley Vikings. Oh boy. Oh well. Here is Dawson directing traffic. All right. Once again, my name is Bill Russatello. Varun Shankar. I got it right. That's right. Loco Sports is going to take you away with the play-by-play -play here in the third. 20 to 19 Titans. Here's Nance, stops, pops, three-pointer, no good. Rebound goes to Justin Mann, he'll get it to Mancuso. Titans trying to push. Mancuso holds, pauses. He's going to get it to Hickey. Hickey over to Shelton. Shelton gets it to Mann. Mann to, over to Schroeder. Schroeder, Mancuso, three-pointer, it's good. This looks like it's going to be a good Man Max Mancuso game so far. Dawson gets it to Nance. Here's Dawson once again with the ball. Now back to Nance. He'll get it inside. Volker stops, pops, pump fake, short, but it's going to roll in. Clyde Volker having a phenomenal game so far. Here's Sam Shelton. He's having a phenomenal game. This could be a career game for him. Here is Mancuso, another three-pointer from the oh. senior, and it's good. Back-to-back -back three-pointers from Max Mancuso. Dawson gives it to Nance. Nance to Dawson. They'll keep passing it back and forth. Now, here's a pass that's deflected by Jaden Hickey it, out of bounds. And it's going to be Valley Ball. No, nothing. Nothing doing for Trent Dawson so far today. Yeah, it's a very weird game when Trent Dawson isn't scoring. He hasn't got it. He has, yeah, he has not got it to the line, though. And no good. no good. Volker tries it. Yeah, gets two offensive reboards off his own shot. And then he's blocked there. And there's a foul. And that will send Clyde Volker to the free throw line. Volker's first one is up and good. I think 14 or something like that. Second one is up and good. Reliable free three point shooting there. Free free throw shooting. We're not using this camera. Here's Hickey. Changes direction, goes inside, throws it to the weak side corner. Shelton, no good. Too short. Volker gets it to Dawson. They are trying to push. Trent Dawson gets it to Nance. Nance gets it to Hall, back to Dawson. Dawson doubled on the catch. Here's Volker now, gets inside, throws up a shot, no good. Goes right to Benjamin Hall, now to Nance, now to Dawson. Dawson puts up a shot, no good. His drought continues, Jaden Hickey with the rebound. He is having a very rough game. Here's Schroeder, gets it to Shelton. And Schroeder gets it to Shelton, but Shelton not able to finish. Here is Dawson. Goes inside, no good once again. He cannot. Overrated the, ch the chance come from the Dominion faithful. Here is Shelton too strong. Here's Dawson. If he misses here, this, and now Chad Dawson's gonna take a timeout. He sees his sons a little bit rattled right now. 
thing about this game is that well, we keep saying it over to Trent Dawson, that's not sport. And the reason that Maroon and I keep perseverating on it is because normally he's going to have about 15 to 20 points at this point in the game. I, I was talking to uh, Owen from Loco Sports, and we were just talking about different matchups for the playoffs, and we were talking about County versus Valley. And we were just talking about how tough Valley is to play because of how consistently Trent Dawson will score just by getting to the line. That's yeah. that's five to ten points that he gets automatically just by being aggressive and getting inside. Nothing, yeah. nothing so far today. I don't know how many free field goals he's taken. He has not got it to the free throw line once. Has not scored a single point. Here he is now. He's gonna get it over to the left side. Three pointer, no good. Rebound goes to Benjamin Hall. They'll get it back to Dawson. Dawson, he thinks about the three pointer, hesitates. Umar Obey, three pointer, it's good. Umar Obey, just like that, this game is all knotted up at 26. Here's Jaden Hickey. Here's Schroeder. Schroeder shot, no good. Nance now, coming the other day. Puts up a shot, rejected by Justin Mann. Ball's loose on the ground. Schroeder gets it, gets it to Jaden Hickey. Here's Sam Shelton. And his pass will be deflected, go out of bounds. It's a good sign for the future of this Valley team. Here's Shelton. Gets it over to Adam Thomas. Thomas now to Barons. Here's Schroeder. Gets it to Thomas again. Inside to Mann. The shot, no good. Too strong off the back iron. And now it's going to be a foul on Nick Barons, a push. Wow. This is my boy checking in, Barone. Jake Mancuso is going to come in for your other boy, uh, Mark Schroeder. Completely blanked out of the name there. Interesting move there by Dominion. I felt like they had a little advantage down low with Schroeder on the sophomore Ben Hall, but Ben Hall is becoming up big. So they'll give Schroeder a rest, I guess, because they feel like they can do it now with Hall in there and both Tanells on the bench. Might be it. Dawson still has not scored. I cannot. Nice look. Obey. Obey can't finish. Good. Rebound Mancuso. Here's Shelton coming the other way. 325 left to the third quarter. He'll get it over to Nick Barrett for three. No good. Air ball. Rebound Mancuso. Gets it blocked. Gets it back. He'll get it over to Justin Mann for three. It's good. Justin Mann puts the Titans up 29-26. Here's Who Dawson. Got board, Who got that board? Who got that board? Jake Jake Mancuso. I genuinely forgot for a second. I'm not going to lie to you. Screen now by Ben Hall. Dawson gets over to Obey. Obey, three-pointer. Set shot. Too far. Rebound bouncing around. It's going to go to Avery Nance. He's going to put up a wild layup. No good. Ball bouncing around again. Barons gets it. It's going to go. It's going to be a foul on Omer Obey. A lot of physical play happening so far as every rebound is contested. Every loose ball is on the ground and every player is diving for it. Checking in now is going to be Cooper Tunnell. Hall will come out. Number 11, Zion Ball will come in as well. So the Vikes will go with Obey, Cooper Tunnell, Clyde Volker, Zion Ball, and Trent Dawson. Here's Justin Mann. Gets it over to Adam Thomas. Thomas getting inside, reverse layup, no good. Ball bouncing around, Tanell gets it, throws it, Dawson nearly lost it out of bounds, but he's going to keep it. Here he is, throws it left side. Zion Ball, three-pointer, no good. And looks like they're going to call uh, Zion Ball with the shot there. He's frustrated after that one. Jaden Hickey will check into the game for Sam Shelton. And so the five on the floor for the Titans right now. Hickey. Adam Thomas, Colby Matheny, 
and Nick Barrett's and Jake Mancuso. And once again, to our viewers, you'll hear me repeating some numbers and some rebounds and some assists because Rod Ogren is trying to track all of these stats as Varun and I bring you the action live. So it's a complex system. We're doing the best we can, so bear with us. Here's a pass inside, but then he gets it after it was tipped up. Ball, he's on the floor. Ball is fought for. It's going to be a timeout for the Titans. Smart, quick play by Anthony Eiffel there to get his team the possession. Okay. All right, so with two minutes and six seconds to go here in the third, the Titans are playing to a three-point lead, 29-26. And if you're just joining us, again, we are stack stream. This broadcast will be up for eternity, Varun. Yes, sir. View this broadcast at a later date. Or you're just finding out about us, you want to tell your friends and anybody who is any allegiance at all to Dominion or Valley, all of our broadcasts can be found on YouTube and, of course, our own website, statstream.biz. <sighs> and with that, Maroon, tell me again how many points Trent Dawson has. Zero. It's a big, fat goose egg right now for Trent Dawson. And there's two minutes and six seconds left. I don't think I've seen something like this third, from him in the, third, in, the in the third, but I have not seen something like this from Dawson from all the box scores I've seen every game I've seen of Valley. I mean, he might be the best player in the county. That's what I thought before the year. That's what I thought halfway through the year, but right now he looks out of sorts, to say the least. Here's Hickey to inbound. Gets it over to Adam Thomas. So Tom. Down by three. Yeah, and that's the miracle. That's how we wanted to see some more secondary creation. They've gotten some tonight. Especially from Clyde Volk, who's looked great. Here's Nick Barron. Gets it over to Jack, Jaden Hickey. Mancuso and Shelton getting ready to check in. And the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Titans. Shelton and Mancuso are going to come in the game. Here's Hickey now. He'll take it. Zone. Yeah, I think they're going to have to stick with that for the rest of the game, it looks like. Now it's an aggressive 2-3 zone. They're trying to trap every single ball handler. Here's Jake Mancuso. Gets it to Jaden Hickey. Hickey holds. Trying to find a weak spot in the defense. Here's Shelton back to Hickey. Over to the left side for Mancuso. He'll get it back to Hickey. Here's Hickey now, tries to probe the defense, gets it inside, good! Colby Matheny with the shot, the assist by Jaden Hickey. Out to a 31-26 lead now. Here's Dawson, gets it to ball. Zion ball holding. Coming over to the bench for is a sophomore, John Santmeyer. Not someone we've seen tonight. Vikings, his dad is sitting right in front of us. <laughs> Here's Zion Ball. Gets it over to Dawson. Dawson still not taking the shot. 36 seconds left. He'll reset. Here's Dawson. What happened? Here is Dawson. 17 seconds left. Trying to direct traffic. He's going to get a pick from T Volker. Three-pointer. No good. Ayush the rebound. Gets it to Tanel. Tanel over to Zion Ball. Ball gets it. It's bouncing around. It's going to go. It's going to be a foul on the Titans with no time left on the clock. It's going to be a push foul. Let's see. It's not going to be. It's going to be on the floor, however. Oh, they're going to say the quarter expired before the foul. And so that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Dominion leading 31-26 to over the Loudoun Valley Vikings. No foul. They said it ended at the uh, end. Of the Testing here. We got Joe Corshane, our man on the street, Varun. <laughs> We're doing a little. He's 
You know, that may not be the worst day. <laughs> Alright, let's get these tweets out for the good folks at Local Sports. They like it when I tweet out scores. Dominion leading 31 to 26 over the Loudon Valley of Vikings. I'm not going to write the Loudon Valley Vikings. So we're down here uh, going into the fourth quarter, and Dominion is 31. We're good to go now. Joe Corshane checking in, and my man Jimmy Harper. Also letting us know that we're having some technical difficulties here. I'm hoping we got them all fixed up. But, Joe, if you're still watching, let us know if you can hear Varun and myself equally. We'd appreciate that. As Shelton will whip it over to Max Mancuso. He'll take the jumper. Mancuso, a little strong. And Trent Dawson with the board. And he'll look to run here. Down by five. Still hasn't scored again. Trent Dawson over to Avery Nance. Feel like we're beating a dead horse, but it hasn't happened in his career. It That's why we are bringing it to your is, attention. This is monumental. The Titans are quite literally doing something right now that no other team in the county has been able to do. They turn it over. And here comes Shelton. Up to Mancuso. He'll drive the lane, dish it in the corner. That's Matheny. And Colby Matheny drains the long jumper. 33-26. Another timeout by Coach Dawson, Varun. Yeah, they seem a little bit rattled right now. Kobe Matheny's hitting shots, and Trent Dawson. I, I don't know what's happening. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You fixed it. I don't know what you did. Oh, okay. All right. So Jimmy Harper letting us know now we got two. We have color and play-by-play -play now, Varun. That's right. This is a professional operation up here. Rod Ogren's in charge of all technology. We're going to blame him. All right. All right. So let's set the scene. 33-26 right. Titans lead. Seven minutes left in the game. This, this game is for second place in the Dulles District. The winner will move right behind Loudoun County. And we're just 12 days away from the first day of the Dulles District playoffs. This is huge. I know the last day of the regular season is 218, so that's what I'm going off. Of. All right, into the game now for the Vikings, the sophomore, number 10. Bam, bam, we call him in Peeville there, Varun. John Santmeyer, his dad sitting right in front of us. <laughs> and they're in the... <laughs> Need some three balls from Bam, bam. All right, let's see what Dawson Santmeyer... They're chanting zero at Dawson right now. 2-3 zone for that's Dominion. Great. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit biased, but that's pretty great. And they turn it over, Varun. Here yeah. comes Shelton looking They're to push it. Go the other way. And they'll slow it down as they shoot with a seven-point lead at home. They no should be in what, no hurry. No matter what chance I hear, my favorite will be when the Freedom fans told Landon Haas to, quote, pull your shorts down. Oh, yeah. That was Oh, great. yeah. I can't stand those shorts, I got to tell you myself. <laughs> they drive me nuts as well. And there's Hickey over to my man, Jake Mancuso. Here's Jake Mancuso now, holding, not really able Lenny to Lenny Kravitz, that. been on the bench for a long time. They play well with that, the big man Schroeder in there. And that's Max Mancuso, rebound by his brother, Jake Mancuso. And he'll go to the line, that's what he does. He's a grindy, gritty player. Not the best free throw shooter, though. No. <laughs> See if his second trip to the line is better than his first. Looking to come back in for the Vikings is number 33, another sophomore. That's the younger Tunnell. Cole Tunnell will check in as Jake Mancuso makes the first free throw. And taking a seat is number five. That is Umar Obeyed. I think it's the largest lead of the night for the Titans at eight. La largest gap any team has had. Second free throw is good. Drains them both. There we go. Smooth as silk. All right, let's see what Doss is able to do Jake here. Mancuso. Dawson finds his team down by nine. And the chant of zero comes out again. There's Santmeyer for three, or for two. Hey. That's good. <laughs> Santmeyer for three. Here's Shelton. Shelton, Mancuso, Mancuso, quick release, three, air ball. Here's Dawson now, foul. All right, 35-29. 
Santmeyer, one for one from the field. No hesitation from the sophomore there taking that shot. All right, here's Trent Dawson is going to walk it up now. Tell you what, the job of a good point guard is to make all the players around him better, Varun. He it's needs a little help tonight. He's gotten some help. The job of a star is also to score points sometimes. Here's Ben, ben Hall. Hall. Steps out for a second shot, no good. That's not the shot they wanted out of that offensive set. He was open, but Ben Hall is not the guy you want taking those shots. No, not from out there. No. I'll give him credit. He shot. He was open. Here's Mancuso. You don't take that shot and they start playing off you. Here's Mancuso. Gets it to the defense a little bit, and he's going to get fouled. That was nice by Mancuso. Recognized the mismatch and went yeah, right Yeah, yeah. Checking it. back in for the Titans. Number 20, Justin Mann. Along with the senior, the six foot six center, Mark Schroeder. They got Colton L on the floor, so yeah, the I think Titans. They've got, they've got the two big lines. Yeah. So Dominion wants to counter that. Yeah. Anthony, Coach Anthony Eller puts a big line about there as well. And there's Van for three. No. And there's Schroeder. Gets fouled and he'll head to the line. Wow. Big man a little bit pumped up here. Five minutes and eight seconds to go, and Schroeder will go to the line. First one is good. He can push it back to an eight-point lead. D-Block's getting riled up over there. Ooh, a little too strong. Battle for the loose ball. All right, they're going to give it back to Valley. They're going to say that he was out of bounds when he touched it, I think, to Dominion. So it was a loose ball. Seven-point lead, five minutes, two seconds to go. Varun and Volker will inbound to Dawson. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Let's see what happens. Volker back to Dawson again, beating a dead horse. But Dawson has yet to score in this game, and D-Block, here at Dominion's gate, he drives the lane, he gets the floater. No, no good. Still can't get it. My goodness. And he still is scoreless. He is still scoreless with four minutes and 41 seconds to go. Little full court pressure now by the Vikings. Not much. Shelton brings it up into the corner. Man to Mancuso. And now again, wisely, the Titans should not be in any hurry here, Varun. Nope. Here's Mann for three. It's good. It's good. The biggest lead of the game. Dawson throws the three up. No good. The three by Dawson. And now they are rattled. It's a ten-point oh. lead. Dawson sent spinning by Hickey. Throws it out corner. Mancuso, no good. Oh, that would have brought the that. house down, Varun. <laughs> that would have brought the house down. Here comes Dawson looking to run. Trying to make something work. He drives the lane. No, he didn't shoot that get. one. You know, he didn't shoot it. There's Dawson for, for three. three. No. Air ball. Gets hit on the shot. No call. Hickey coming back the other way. Don't slow it down. Titans can smell blood. And they're going to oh. push on Dawson. Oh, foul on Dawson. He is not happy right now. He is. <laughs> Coach. Chad Dawson not happy either. He's going to take him As out of the Trent game. As Trent Dawson comes out of the game. Wow, something you never thought you'd see. No. He's scoreless. Cole Tennell checks out. Santmeyer comes out. Into the game is number three, Nance, along with 11, Zion Ball. And 23, Anis Ayush. There's Shelton. Shelton. Nearly loses it there. And there looks running the clock here as they should. Down to three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the ball game. This is they got a 10-point like lead, and they're going to run some clock. I, this is why I like to see a shot clock established. <clears throat> and Clyde Volker is going to pick up the foul. And they're going to send the uh, big man there, Schroeder, back to the free throw line. 
One and one. And he calmly just sunk two, his last trip to the line. Dawson coming back into the game. See, Mark Schroeder's, oh, and they're booing Dawson vigorously. My goodness. Well, they're just putting up a bunch of zeros. I don't know if they're booing him. They're just <laughs> letting him know how many points he has. <laughs> Yeah, it is ugly. We talked about it what's time and time again. What's, what's his, what is he shooting? How many shots has he taken? Eight. So we talked about the Vikings only scoring 45 points last night. They're sitting on 29 right now. And this is it. This is the problem. You have one guy who can create, and when he doesn't create, you can't do much. Oh, my God. Justin Mad with the slam. Oh, and the D block. They're on the they floor. The D block is on the floor. It's a party in Sterling tonight, and the Titans are invited. Here's Nance. Shoots it. No Air good. Ball. Air ball. Obeyed. Puts it up. No, no good. good. Schroeder with the rebound. Wow. Schultz wow. coming the other way. Varun. I want you to enjoy this last two minutes. Take it away, my man. Here we go. Here is man. He's going to hold it. Nearly picked off by Zion Ball, but there's going to be a foul on the play. What a sequence there for the Titans. Mark Schroeder gives it to Justin Mann, and Justin Mann, the two-handed flush. And now they're up 13 with two minutes left, and they're going to just try holding the ball. Checking in is the senior power forward, Cooper Tunnell. Coming out is Umar Obeyed for the Vikings. Just trying to get some extra size in there, it looks like. I don't see a way out of this for the Valley. Looks, look, it's dicey. <laughs> I don't see an answer. Couple of I don't see an answer. A couple of quick three-pointers, though, and things change. There it starts. This rebound. Here's Tanel. Gets it to Dawson. Dawson goes to his left, drives through the lane. Fouled, and he'll head right, to the line. We'll get to go to the line. He'll get to go to the line for a we'll chance get to go to the line. points of the game. And the D block is holding up a bunch of zeros over there. It's not going to happen, but if Oh, they're not one and one. Oh, it was not. They're not in the bonus yet. It was on the floor. I thought, oh, they only got five team fouls. Man. Just when you think it might be the end wow. of the scoring drought, just continues. Volker gets the inbounds. Here's Ball, gets it to Dawson. Dawson goes to his right. He's going to lose it, and now. Oh, now they say he's now shooting. Now he's going to head to the foul. Now they say he's shooting. That was a tough call there. Yep. The out-of-town uh, help here is congratulating Rod Ogren. I want to read you a quote from uh, our beat reporter, Joe Corshane. Please tell Rod Ogren that we appreciate him working on the volume and getting it fixed. Great job. <laughs> there we go. How much of the game the did we point. miss? His first point of the game. That is right. And he sinks them both. A little too little too late, Varun. 11 points, two minutes. Not easy, but not impossible. Full and court pressure. Inbound. Got a foul if they get it in. Trapped in the corner. Here's Shelton. Shelton breaks it easy. They tried to foul him. Here's Mancuso. He'll pick it up. He'll get it back to Hickey. I don't know why they're not fouling. Trying Can't explain why they're not right fouling. There. You got a foul. Here's Man. You got a foul. Gets to Mancuso. All right. Back to man. Coach Bonnie, why are they not fouling? Inside, Mancuso. Why did they left. foul? Start good. What's that chance say? Start the buses, they say. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Some innovative chance coming from D Block tonight. Good showing. And that'll put uh, Clyde Volker has a great game. You got any stats? Yeah. Clyde Volker, you got stats? Clyde's had a nice game. He has. Makes the first one. Let me just get the call as the buzzer has. 16 all. points and four rebounds. Probably got a few steals. Might have five or six rebounds. Uh, we're not always on top of our rebound stat game here. 
But he sunk the first one to give him 17 points, I believe. He's got half of the points. And there's another one. Got them both. 18 points for Clyde Volker. Full court pressure. You got a foul. Nice oh, they're going to give up a slam if they want it. Smart choice to run some clock. Don't want to foul Hickey. Inside. Look at that. Oh, oh they throw it away it finally. Away. A little bit too. Dawson will have to go around there. He's going to shoot it, I believe. He does Ooh, shoot it. And it's he gets good. a jumper. And now it's going to be a timeout for Chad Dawson. Well, under a minute, Varun, and they cut it to nine. Man. Coach Chad Dawson is not happy about the clock. Don't know what the issue was there with the clock. I'm going to rent, run some sponsors by us right here quickly. We're ruined during this timeout. Once again, my name is Bill Russatello. With me tonight from Loco Sports, Varun Shanker and Rod Ogren is doing the stats. He didn't do such a good job on the technology with our mics tonight, Varun, but he's doing the best he can. He's got limited technology over here. Coach Bonnie is in there working the uh, camera for us. <laughs> he's doing the best he can as well. A special thank you to <laughs> Gold Athletics, Velocity Wings, Valley Energy, Mannix, HVAC, Lydia Clark Realty, The Percival Pub, Loudon Valley Floors, Kathy Hessler Homes, Voice Sports, Loco Sports, PMA Insurance Services, Climatic, Heating and Cooling, and Cardinal Park Family Dental. Quick game today. Uh, started at 7.15. It's only 8.19. Oh, going to be done in an hour. It's 15. only what? It's only 8.19. Oh, my God. That's crazy. No fouls, no stoppages of play. They just went up and down the court. Here we go. Here's Shelton. 56 seconds left. 44-35. Titans lead. Full court man press, looks like. They get it in. Here's Hickey. Don't have to foul. They trap. Mancuso. Wow. Nice outlet pass there. They try to foul. They don't get it. Man to Hickey. Back to Mancuso. And now they'll hug him for the foul. Into the game is Calavocus, number zero for the Vikings. Steven Calavocus. Plays, you got that name much, much easier than I would have. Plays uh, a little football action for the Vikings as well. This kid's had a nice game here, 22, Max Mancuso. Is he a senior? Yeah. Macuso a senior. Fourth year of the program. Knocks down the first one. Twelve points and five boards for Max Mancuso tonight. He's got thirteen now and knocked down the last one. Dawson, no good. Dawson. Also played primary defense on Dawson for most of the night. Oh, that's even more important. Yeah. Did a great job yeah. limiting the... <clears throat> Into the game is John Santmeyer, the sophomore guard for the Vikings. Going to the line is going to be number 11, Sam Shelton. Free throw is good. So the Titans coming in here at 13 and five. Is that right, Varun? Yep, their record will go to 14 and five after this win, and they'll move into sole possession of second place. And the, the Vikings District. will fall to 14 and six. Rebound is up. It's going to be gathered by Mark Schroeder. Ball bounces out. Here is Jaden Hickey. Jaden Hickey nearly trapped. Gets out of it. Throws it. Mancuso. Man. Schroeder, and with 10 seconds left, the Titans will just run out the clock. Hickey's going to hold it. And as the buzzer sounds, the Dominion Titans win 48-35 to over the Loudoun Valley Vikings, moving them into sole possession for second place in the Dulles District. So regardless, a commanding win here 
by the Titans at home, regardless of who's in second place. Uh, the Vikings are in trouble. They're reeling at the time of the year where you would think they would be getting better. They're going to go back-to-back -back with losses. Played a, a row, tough right? team last night. What's that? Three in a row, right? Two to county and then... Oh, yeah, two to county. You're right. Yep, yep, three in oh, a no, row. They had a park, park, park Oh, park I didn't count the park view yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Matthew goes to park view. He's not happy about Sorry. that one. <laughs> but anyway, Dominion, a convincing victory. They played tough defense from the start, Faroon. And they took advantage of a lot of turnovers by the Vikings. And once again, Trent Dawson's going to end this game with four points. Yeah, not the best outing from Dawson, so a bit of a struggle for him. What's our next broadcast there, Statmaster? Uh, we'll probably, well, they're playing Heritage and Tusky next week. All right, I got to go down to Thank you, guys. The, is, are the Tusky girls good? Uh, yes, they have the Middleton the, sisters who are We good. might cover the girls game on the 14th. We might do a girls hoops game of Valley and Tusky, okay. On Valentine's Day, aren't you going to be going somewhere with your wife, Cheryl, snuggling up somewhere in a dark, cozy corner? No? Oh. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Allison has planned for me. I'm sure I'm sure Allison might have something planned for me on um, Valentine's Day night. So we don't know what all the next broadcast is going to be. However, I can tell you this, folks. This broadcast tonight will be up at statstream.biz. And, of course, it will also be up on YouTube tonight, later tonight. Rod Ogren, the Statmaster, will put this game up online. You can view all of our broadcasts for eternity for Rod Ogren. We hope you had enjoyed our coverage of tonight's game from Dominion High School tonight. The replay will be up, as I said, later tonight, statstream.biz. And you can put the on-demand button in your little phone there. Just put that on your go-to app. We have an app yet, Rod? We're going to have an app soon. I know we are. Statstream is going to have their own app soon. I'm going to work on it. But for my partner tonight, Varun Shanker from Loco Sports and Rod Ogren, once again, your final 48-35 to Dominion takes out Valley. My name is Bill Russatella. Good night, everybody.